Brief DVMs coming at you with a discussion of a milker that you can buy online and some advantages and disadvantages of it. First of all, these milkers are made for, you know, small farmers, you know, one to two animals, maybe three. This is the 14 liter version and I'm showing you um, some old video of there when it first came um, and when I first got it. But really what I want to show you is is the practicality of it when you milk and some of the things I like and dislike about it. It's a nice stainless steel container here with very tiny lines that are kind of a pain in the butt to work with. But it does have um, nice sealing ability to get a vacuum in the container. And the container is, is plenty big for multiple animals. But again, um, it's not probably what you want to use for a lot of animals. It does have an overflow stop there. So if the pail fills up, it would shut itself off from vacuum and not float over. It's got a couple um, nice numbered um, areas here where you can help you when you unplug it um, from the milker and from the lines and the claws to know where they go. But honestly, the little silicone tube lines are really quite a pain in the butt to unplug from the cover. Um, and after a while, you're going to wreck them because um, they're really on there here, as you can see. So unfortunately, we leave them on the cover and we just try to wash it the best we can because it's such a pain in the butt to get these things off. Again, not a very good system for quick and easy access by any means. Even though I know you can buy silicone tubing like this at Menards and Lowell's, I don't know why you'd you know, want to fight with this every day. So this is one of the pain in the butts, the uh, silicone tubing that this machine comes with. Um, the advantage to this kind of milker is when you have a goat um, or a small dairy animal that's you know, being milked out so you don't contaminate your other milk source. That's when I found this milker to be real handy. I found it to be helpful as a backup milker too. Um, in, in that situation, it's great. The lines are not real long. You literally have probably no more than four feet of distance. It's got those plastic white clips on it to stop the, the suction. It's kind of a cheesy on and off, and it's certainly not an easy way to, um, to release the uh, pressure. You've got an on button, it's as simple as that, and you've got a one and a two um, up on the actual milker. And then you've got an electrical cord that's probably not even three feet long to plug into a wall. And then there's really no good way of mounting this onto a wall or keeping it onto a table. You just got to set it somewhere and kind of make it work. Um, again, another disadvantage to this milker, you've got very little distance. As far as the claws go, um, you know, the inflators... They're an all one piece internal design um, with basically, you know, two hoses hooking to the end of them. There's not much replaceability here. You can certainly take it apart to clean it. Um, you can get the middle one there off, the one I just pulled off, but the end one's on with a barb and it's a pain in the butt. Um, this cap, if you got to clean it, it's all one piece with the inflator and doesn't work real well. Um, I'm going to show you how they work on the goat. Um, this particular goat. Um, we had to give um, some treatment to, so we're not going to save her milk. So this is, again, the milker of choice when you just need to milk out a goat like this. Otherwise, for the rest of our herd, I'm not milking with this kind of machine. It can get the job done on a goat like this in about four minutes, so it certainly saves a lot of hand work. And you can see we've got it kind of zip-tied to the wall. She turns it on, and then she's got to clamp these shut to build up suction. These clips do break after a while, and they're a pain in the butt to find on Amazon, but you can find them. Again, another thing I dislike about this is not easy access to replacement parts. So, I get it. For the price, I guess I can understand that, but it's still kind of a pain. They're going to strip out some milk here real quick, um, just so that we can kind of get this going. And I can show you on the video how it works. Um, but in my situation here, I, I kind of like to just use this, you know on, you know, animals that I don't need the milk on or I'm disposing of the milk or, you know, just those odd cases or if I need it for backup. So she's got these things clamped shut. Um, you can see she's got a lot of tubing in front of her there. She's got four lines. She's got to try to keep them in the proper order so that, you know, they don't twist or get hooked up. She's got to get these to kind of suck on. This machine doesn't have a ton of suction power either, which is good. It's it's healthy for the teat, but yet at the same point in time, it makes it a pain if you're trying to put these together, you know, yourself. It's it's, it's quite the headache, because um, if you let go of one, it'll fall off. So you kind of got to just hang on to them enough until they 
finally starts sucking on. Again, another thing I don't like about these, they don't really have any way of kind of hooking them on but to just wait it out. And sometimes I find you kind of got to twist them and kind of push them up in there to get more of that into the device so it does a better job of, of milking out. Now once they're on like this, they'll stay pretty good. Now remember, the machine is running at this time. It's just that the bottom clamp is shut. So we're going to open up that bottom clamp and we're going to start getting milk to flow. You can see it's starting to flow here. And it can milk out pretty quick. But again, um, some things I really don't like like about it, again, is, is the tubing size, um, the clamps on it, and again, the claws, they're not, they're not very good to work with. So it makes it kind of difficult, and there's not much I can do about it. It's just a cheaper milker. But I have it for a specific purpose, so that's why I kind of wanted to review it and let people know. I think a lot of people turn to the you know Amazon market and buy these because they're cheap, and heck, they're going to save them the handwork. But I don't know if I'd trust this milker every single day for probably no more than a dough. <laughs> After a while, I think you'd be replacing the tubing and dealing with the clean out is kind of a pain. And I think your inflators are going to be kind of difficult to replace. But regardless, people need to know what's out there and what's done. So when we pull them off, you can see there's, you know, a little bit of discoloration, but comes back into play pretty quickly. I don't think these are the nicest on the animal's teats, but again, just for just for milking out because um, of stuff that we had to give the goat, it's fine to do. There's the milk inside. Now here comes another pain in the butt. So you buy this nice container and you think, well, great, I'll just take this up now and take it into my house. Well, yes, you can, and then you can wash it up there. But the milker and the lines are all down in the barn. So what I find I have to do is pour the milk out because I need this container again to get the vacuum up and running so that then I can clean out the lines. So it's a pain that you got to have two containers. Because again, if I take this stainless steel thing that it came with up to the house and pour the milk out and stuff, I got to come all the way back to clean. So I just pour it into a container and then I lock things back up so I get my cleaning done. Um, I just, for me, it's kind of frustrating just because, again, <laughs> I'm so used to different milking systems. The, the favorite milker that I have is my Simple Pulse. Uh, milks into a jar, pull the jar off, I'm ready to go up to the house, put another jar in, and I'm ready to clean, and I can always have a cleaning jar. It's quick, it's simple, it's fast. This is kind of a pain. So I've got, you know, water in this bucket, um, and we're going to we're gonna put um, a solution in it here, and that solution is going to work for us to um, clean out the, uh, the line. So first I put them in the bucket, I suck just some water up in them just so I get it going. Then I'm going to... Um, mix in my um, my milk house um, line cleaning solution put a cap full in whatever works for you um, I use seven mls just because it works for the couple gallons of, of water I got here and then I suck that through the system to clean out my lines clean out my inflators and my cloth so forth um, it's pretty simple and easy to do and with this milker I wouldn't say it's difficult but again I need to do this now because if I don't um, I get that milk stone in there, and it's hard to get it out of these lines. These are small, tiny lines. They're not easy to clean out with a brush. So I highly recommend you do this after each milking. Again, I don't always do that with some of the other milkers because I can clean them out once a day and get away with it. Not with, not with this milker. So basically what I've done is I've dipped the whole inflator in there, gotten it wet, get it cleaned off, done it a couple times, and... Um, I'm kind of mixing it around in the stainless steel there too to kind of disinfect that the best I can. And then I'm letting it suck up in the line and hopefully clean out enough of the line that I don't get, you know, milk stone in the line. Then when I'm done, I'm going to let these things drip dry. Again, hanging it with this thin tubing. I think it's a little hard on the tubing. And I'm actually going to leave the cover on this thing and just kind of wipe it clean. And then I'll, I'll just... Again, take the stainless steel part up to the house and finish washing and drying it out for the next batch of milk. Again, the reason is, is because taking off that silicone tubing is not easy. So if you're going to milk one goat just for personal use, maybe a second goat, this machine would probably work well. For my purpose, which is as a backup machine, and for a machine that when i got to put it on a, you know, an animal where I can't take the milk or keep the milk, but I need to milk them out, um, such as, you know, if you had a mastitis case, you had an animal under medication, um, you know, your, your, your dough had to be dewormed or something, and you got that 14-day lockout where you got to get rid of the milk. This machine works really good for that. So that's why I keep it around. 
Um, and that's why I'm doing the review on it so you know that it does have a purpose and it can work. But, you know, it's got some drawbacks too. So here I am. I'm going to try and clean the cover. I'm going to put it in some of the water. I need somebody to help me hold the, hold the inflators because I don't want to set those on the ground before I get everything kind of hung up on the stand so it can just kind of hang and, and dry out. It's, it's, just not, it's just not the most convenient machine. I can say it works. Um, I can say it, you know, does its job in four minutes and gets things clean. But it's not real, it's not real user friendly. I think things that would make this machine uh, more user friendly would be longer lines, easier disconnects, um, probably some type of, you know, metal ring or hook on the end of this cover so I can hang it to drip dry. Uh, that would be, you know, really nice. <laughs> Um, as far as the, uh, you know, inflators go a little bit easier inflator to remove. Um, certainly the ability to get, you know, replacement inflators easier other than just trying to get an off brand at a tractor supply and fit it to the system. That'd be nice. And certainly a longer power cord on this unit would be good and probably a little better hanging system. Maybe some screw mounts for mounting it on a wall or a little hooks for, you know, hanging it better because again, you're not always going to want to set your, you know, hundred dollar milker, um, pulse milker on the ground where it can be stepped at and kicked with your own feet. Um, I just don't, I don't think that's, that's probably the best. So again, I've got this all done. I'm just going to hang it to dry and I'll take the silver can there, which is stainless steel all up to the house and I'll finish washing that. And then I'll put my milk away. This is a review that we did on the hand top. Um, I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and follow our channel. Thank you, folks.